Have you ever wondered if you could start your PC from anywhere in the world, would say just with your phone and internet connection? If you just want to start your PC remotely when you are at home, then you can check out my last week's video up here on how to wake up your PC with your voice and Wi-Fi. But we're going to take it to the next level this time, so without any further ado, let's begin. First open run and type in ncpa.cpl and hit enter. Now before we progress any further, I'll lay down the requirements. Number one, you will need your PC to be connected to the Ethernet at all times, even when it's turned off, which means you also need an internet connection active where the PC is connected to the Ethernet. Lastly, you will need a dynamic DNS provider such as noip.com or changeip.com so that if you have a dynamic public address, then you can wake up your PC consistently without having to check your IP address. Let's configure the PC first. Now right click your Ethernet adapter and select properties, click on configure, then click on power management and select allow this computer to turn off this device to save power and allow this device to wake the computer like so and press OK. Now go to the advanced tab and scroll down until you see the shutdown wake on LAN, turn that on, wake on magic packet, turn that on, wake on pattern match, turn that on. Now go to your PC or laptop BIOS by restarting it and pressing F2 or delete, then find wake on LAN option and set it to enabled, then save and exit. Now comes the fun part. Now find your router address by typing in ipconfig and windows terminal and mine is non 92.168.0.1 it should be indicated by default gateway type it in your browser log into your router you're using the credentials usually written under the router physically first thing we are going to do is assign a static ip address to pc we are working on so i'm going to go to network lan and then address reservation this is my laptop here and i've reserved the ip address by just clicking add and add the MAC address and IP address that I want. Now go to terminal again, click on get MAC if you want to find out your MAC address. Now we need to export it to ARP binding. This is important because when your PC is off, it does not have an IP address. So any packets that are supposed to be sent to that PC will be forwarded to the layer two MAC address protocol. There you have it, it's there. Now we need to forward any port the most common one is port 9 which is used by most applications but if you're planning to wake up multiple systems then you would need a different port for different computer. There is this other method where you can forward the wake on LAN ports to the broadcast address but it didn't work for me so I'm using this method to wake my PC successfully. So now I just need to forward the ports, go to transmission and then NAT, click on add and you shouldn't see this option because mine is a multiband router but the rest of it should look pretty similar. You can see I'm using port 9 and because we resolved the IP address earlier I have forwarded it to 192.168.0.200. Last step on the PC is to set up dynamic DNS reporting. You can download the updater from the link in the description below and create an account on no IP. I'm using changeip.com which gives you one free DNS without having to renew it every month. Once you are installed and logged into your dynamic DNS provider, just select your host and it will be updated with your latest IP address. Now comes the easy part. Download the Wacon LAN app on your phone, then create a new connection and enter the dynamic DNS address that you chose earlier followed by a colon and port number that you forwarded in my case is 9. Now disconnect your phone from local Wi-Fi and connect to your 4G or 5G network. All that's left to do is press the button to wake the PC and make sure it's shut down so you know you can wake it up and then it should just turn on like you press the power button on the system. If you have any trouble setting this up or have a question or a suggestion on how to do this in any easier way, let me know down in the comments below. And also reach out to me on Discord if you want to have a chat about Wake Online. Anyway guys, smash that like button if this video helped you. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell if you want to watch more content like this. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.